Hello YouTube, this is a 10 minute preview from one of our much longer interview episodes. You can find the links to this episode and the rest of our podcast in the description below. Liking this video really helps us out, so we appreciate every single one of you. Well, not Dave, he didn't turn up for this little intro piece, but I do. As always, be good, love you lots, until next time. I can hear you, cotton. Can, can you? Yeah, there we go. There, there we go. you go. Lovely voice. How are you doing, fellas? How are you? It's fucking awesome to be in here. Like, I've listened to so many of your episodes, and I love your voices. You've just got, I don't know whether it's the passion because you're both, you know, good friends and all the rest of it, but I love listening to you guys talk. Bless you, man. Well, you can put us on to go to sleep to, and then we can give you some funny dreams. Nightmares. <laughs> Not those funny <laughs> dreams. Not that funny Aww. dream. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, lads? <laughs> Uh, right, before we just get started, dude, I'm just going to do some, like, I've done some volume checking already, uh, but Dave, was that, like, cracking up for you a little? Yeah, yeah, it was proper cracking up, yeah. All right. I've already just joined the Discord, so right, actually, yeah, you, okay, let's it do might that. be easier that I'm way. i do that, because, Boydie, you were not in our Discord, and I'll be picking that back up with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going swimmingly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing survives the first contact, Andy. Come on. When on in Discord, Boydy, in your voice connected down the bottom, does it what color? I guess or what milliseconds Yellow. are you getting? Yellow. Three hundred eight milliseconds. Oh, that will be why. Okay. Maybe cha- maybe change your server um, uh, location to the US. Um, that's a more friendly. Region override. Ha ha ha! I could do it for the channel. Okay, where do we want to go? US East? No. US West? US, US um, West South, like really Dallas to US West? Oh, we could do US South. Oh, US yeah, South. Tech, do we have to change our accent? I used to get the best ping. Well, rootin' tootin' did it work. Testing, yeah. testing. How's the audio now? It's fucking fixed, bro. Oh, bro. We've only gone and smashed the internet, ain't we? <laughs> there you go. Now you, there, you, there you go. An old dog like me taught you young whippersnapper something. Hey, hey, this is an edited podcast. I will be editing that whole section out. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, guys, this is why you're still the second best, Daisy. I fucking oh. love saying that. I, I always sit there and wonder. Is, is, is that boy to you guy? He's such a cunt. Why does he say things like that? No, they don't realize it's just a fucking on running joke. It's just, yeah. Genuinely, though, like it's weird because, like, a lot of people say, like, like I've said before, a lot of people go to us, ah, oh, you know, do, do, you, do you get on with them guys from like the, the 87? And we're like, why wouldn't we? Like, why wouldn't Man, we? Why, no, why? Pl- play, play it up, play it up, say, yeah, yeah, fucking hate it, <laughs> Can't believe yes. it. Like, if I see Cobra in the street, I'm going to trip him up. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a mouthful of coffee and I almost spat it all over my keyboard. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, right, now, technical issues averted. We should crack on, right? Crack yeah. on. We should crack on. Oh, shit. I was meant to get... Uh, I guess we don't really need it. We've just had half an hour worth of icebreakers. I was going to yeah. get an icebreaker <laughs> in, but we've literally just been talking for about half an hour trying to fix this bloody Discord issue, so I think we're going to be fine. We can just dive straight in. Awesome. So. For those that don't know, Boydie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Mate, I am a Daisy tragic. Um, <laughs> way, way, way back, um, I discovered a game probably around about 2009, I think it was, which was Codemasters Operation Flashpoint. Um, up until that point, my experience with video games had been just like everyone's, you know, your arcade shooters, um, your, your real-time strategies, turn-based strategies, um, fighter games, driving games, all the rest of it. And yeah, gaming was awesome, but I, I got this game and I was like, what the hell is this? It was so fucking hard. Um, I'd never PC gamed um, since the 90s. Um, so I wasn't aware of this armor series. Yeah. And even though the Codemasters Operation Flashpoint wasn't um, armor, but yeah, because of the breakaway and all the rest of it, it was still you know, based on the same game. And the realism of it absolutely stunned me. So I started looking into more. And then I found 
um, shortly after this game, Daisy Standalone came out, and I was like, I, I don't mind the Mill Sim stuff, but you know, it's kind of a, kind of for, for me personally, it's a little bit cheesy, having been you know uh, get your bingo cards out, folks, but having me in the army, um, but. An apocalyptic survival game, you know, uh, Walking Dead was huge back then as well. It was like, fuck yeah. And I started watching more and more videos. This was during the Armour 2 mod days. Then they announced they were making DayZ standalone. I was like, I've, I've got to get a gaming PC. So saved and saved and saved. And eventually we got one in uh, February 2014. I found um, I, I, the game was everything I'd hoped for, even as buggy and broken as it was. Um, I started looking into the Australian scene. You know, I'm a very patriotic mm. person and love to support local. Um, discovered, you know, Vigilante Gamer, Vanguard, um, Charlie Day Z, um, all the people I played with way back then and started making content, realised I was shit at it um, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a boring fucking player and I'm not good at PvP. And But what I can do is talk underwater with a mouthful of marble. So decided um, I'd start interviewing people um, because I just, I love this game and I think it takes a special kind of person to play it. Um, and then, yeah, it's just... This, this is my my hobby. You know, some people have cars, some people have guns and all the rest of it. Um, my hobby is Daisy. I, I just love playing the game. I love talking about the game. Um, I love interviewing the, the fascinating people who you know, have stuck with this game um, or you know, only just discovered it. It's just, it's awesome. It's weird how it infatuates you, right? Like, I've got, I, I can't comprehend people that i guess don't play it anymore or like yeah, yeah. i played it a little bit like i don't get that <laughs> i mean you're right yeah to be you proper get driven in by it i i put a lot of it down to there are some people and it's not having a go at them but you know, daisy is a very time intensive game you uh, barring the deathmatch service you can't just switch it on play for half an hour and then switch off again you're gonna get fucking nothing done more than likely you'll spend most of the time on the coast just trying to find an apple to fucking not die and then you're logging off again so it takes <clears throat> your more hardcore gamers um whether they be content creators or just the people who you know they, they, they may have devoted that time to a game like WoW or or um, something else, but you, you generally need minimum an hour, if not two hours, to have a good session in DayZ. So a lot of people, that's just not viable for them. A lot of people don't want to have to, you know, not just spend that time gaming. A lot of people just like to switch on, blow shit up, um, drive around a track or whatever, um, just switch off and just do mindless automated stuff. You can't do that in DayZ. Um, if you switch off and uh, even when you just set auto run, mm. how often have you come back and you're dead or yeah. you're stuck against a wall, you haven't moved anywhere? <laughs> against a tree. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Daisy is a different sort of game. So it, it does appeal to a different, I'm not saying a better type of gamer, but it applies to a different type of gamer. You've really got to, um, yeah, we get a lot of people say, it's boring. What are you meant to fucking do? And I said, the problem's not the game, mate. The problem is you. And it's, again, not having a go at you, but you've got to have an imagination to keep going in this game. Uh, to mix it up either really enjoy your your one play style or like a lot of people out there be prepared to mix it up and just go with the flow which is what some of the best content creators can do they can they don't just do the same rinse and repeat play style they're always looking for something different you know that's why day one is so successful there's so many people on there chasing quality interactions yeah so we got you here boydy basically um not only to talk about you and yourself and what you do but I'm to talk about the massive event that you just went to, the Daisy yes. Unite event. And uh, we're took... not under NDA anymore, so have out yeah, so you you're not under it anymore. And I just wanted to get some feelings of before or, or well, before you got on that flight. So how did you feel when BI invited Lonely I Old Boydie reached, from Aussie to co. I, I reached out to Scotty and I said, are you sure you want me um, <laughs> with my reputation? Yeah, bro, I'll fall on my sword because I, 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 I'm I, a troublemaker, um, usually for stuff not related to DayZ. Um, <laughs> but I said, yeah, are you sure you want me? And Scotty said, yes, you deserve to be here, which generally brought a tear to my eye. Um, I yes. think I replied with, I'm not crying, you're crying meme. Um, <laughs> it was one of the, Probably one of the nicest things anyone's ever said about me. Um, but I was nervous. I was really fucking nervous, mate. Um, you know, going to meet some some absolute fucking giga chads in the Daisy yeah. community. Yeah. You know, sadly, sadly, Smoke couldn't attend. Um, but we still had the Running Man, Toprek, Minder, Joito, uh, Marks, Lady Adventure, Freshborns. Those those two guys are fucking awesome. They are so yeah, down to earth, good lads. Yeah. Um, Happy Bombs. Um, I know I'm forgetting names, um, and it's only been. Um, a few days, but it was just, you know, minder. Uh, it, it was just awesome. Um, but in the lead up to it, 
Yeah, e- even even Paul, the running man, put a tweet out, you know, saying, um, I'm basically you know, uh, dealing with imposter syndrome. And I was like, fuck, man, if he's feeling imp- imposter syndrome, what about the rest of us? You know, there's me with my 6,000 subs on YouTube, uh, and pretty much all I do is talk about the game. And um, the, the guy who's arguably, well, not really arguably, but is the biggest name associated with DayZ mm. these days, he's, he's um, having imposter syndrome as well. I think we're all separated from that, though, aren't we? Like, we're all sitting behind a screen. We're all playing game. We all upload things onto YouTube, and then we watch it from a screen. And it's very rare people will actually meet people. Like, I, I don't know whether you have on or not met them before, but I saw a picture of you and Lad, two ex-co-hosts of 87.8. Uh, yes. Has you guys met IRL before? Nope, nope. No, so uh, that's incredible, right? Yeah, he's he's all the way over there in the mother country. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I got to meet um, Dancer Jesus.